is Amy. Thanks so much for stopping by my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I paint a uh, purple flower design on this green whiskey bottle. And we're going to be using, I apologize my air conditioning is getting ready to start up here. And I'm using a number 8 Deerfoot Stippler. Two of my A Magic brushes. These are flat brushes. One is a number 6 and one is a number 10. All my paints are folk art paints. I use multi-surface and enamels. I will be using moon yellow, magenta, eggplant, wicker white, thicket, and grill brow. Alright, let's go ahead and get started. On this design, I am going to be using for the floral part, the wicker white, the eggplant, and the magenta. So basically I'm going to touch my sides into the wicker white, the eggplant, do my blending strokes, and then touch into my magenta. Just get my brush good and full. And then I'm going to come over here and start with my design. Now this is just basically going to be a wavy petal. If you feel like you need to do you know, a thicker coat, just go ahead and do it as you're painting it. I'm going to go ahead and turn my bottle, which is nice that you have that option when you're painting on something like this instead of a stationary item because obviously can't turn your bottle or your surface if it's stationary, like a wall, that type of thing. Alright, so we're going to just keep on going here. You can leave a little bit of the center open if you choose to do so. And I like to just add some different coloring as I go along so not all the petals are identical. And it gives the flower a little bit more interest. And again, I'm just doing some wiggling up and down, just moving, moving my brush around. I'm going to go back here, just go over it again because I just want to make sure my design is on well, meaning that it's, it's opaque and it is, you know, good coverage because that way that will make my design more durable if it's on nicely. Alright, now on this one I didn't happen to leave a center open, but that's okay. Not a biggie. I'm going to go ahead and I have to be careful though when I'm doing this because I want to make sure that I don't roll it over and touch the, touch the back of it onto the paper here and ruin the design. And you can put more, more white in it if you want, blend it a little bit better and go over it. I'm telling you, you know, the white helps make it more opaque. It really does. Anytime you're doing a design, if you're worried about that, throw some white into it and that will help. I think it's that the, the paint has more pigment to it is what will help you know, make it more uh, opaque. But again, I'm just doing this just nice and easy, very relaxing. I can leave a space in the center. I'm going to be tapping in the center or I can cover it all up and tap it in. doesn't matter. Either way will work. Now I'm just going to come down here and do another, another petal and then just keep going with it. I added a little more pink to it and it still makes it pretty. I like to add lights to these bottles. If you don't want lights to them, you can just paint them and sit them on a shelf. Really as easy as that. You don't have to 
light them up. They are good lights as far as ambiance. They're good lights as maybe even to use as a night light or say you have guests coming over and you want to put have a light in your bathroom so people can find find their way <clears throat> when they're over at your home. That's nice and easy too. And I just want to make sure that like any openings that I have here are covered up because I don't want them to sometimes they kind of spread open a little bit. Anyhow I'm going to go picked up something right there. I'm going to go ahead and do this is kind of a wiggly not really an, a bud per se because it's a little, I think a little bit bigger than what I would consider a bud but I can go this and then come to the front and yeah, I'm a little bit more pink to it. Come to the front and then just do just kind of pull like that and just keep rotating it. Now over here what I'm going to do is do what I would say would be like a bud and then just kind of pull it. Again, I'm going to come down here, it comes out a little ways, and then I'm going to pull it over. And if you don't think it's good coverage, just go over it. Not a big deal. I'm going to do another bud. Again, I'm trying to keep my bottle lifted up here so I don't, I don't put it on the paper. I'm doing another bud. And again, if you don't think it covered well, that's the main thing is to get the good coverage. And then do another bud. So I'm doing three buds. And then I'm going to come down here, kind of pull it out a little bit, and then roll it in like that. All right. And then, um, looks like I'm kind of running out of some room here. But what I can do over here, because I wanted to have a couple, uh, kind of like what I did at the top there, that were not really open, but not completely closed either. Go like that. And then, I'll do this a little bit. And then I can go like this, kind of wiggle it around a little bit and finish it off there. A little bit of the same here because I wanted to have a couple of them. Yeah, to sell these bottles, I do actually go around, unless it's the Jaeger bottles, I don't typically go around that one. Oh, you know what? I did that backwards. Put it in here. But you could do it that way because I just did the, did the lighter on the outer part. I'll come here, like I said, and just kind of do like that. Pretty easy. I think I got off the camera there. Sorry about that. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is pick up my Deerfoot stippler. On the front part of the brush, I'm going to do the yellow, the moon yellow. On the heel, I'm going to do the brown. And then I always tap it off on my palette, which I typically use a plate, a glass plate. And then I'm just going to go in here and start tapping in a center. Now you can have your centers going whichever direction you choose. They don't all have to be going in the same direction on each flower either. And just kind of making it round. Oh, thank you. My air conditioning finally stopped. Apologize for that. I can never seem to get through a video without that. And I to kind of tip in some white. If you want, you can let it dry a little bit before you do that. Or go about tapping in the rest of them and then do that. That's why I say, you know, it doesn't really matter if you tap the centers in. If you leave an opening or if you tap them in 
Either way is fine. Okay. And you can keep working on them if you let you don't aren't happy with the initial uh, the initial tapping in of your center. You can let it dry a little bit and then come back over and and tap on it and work on it until you get it to where it looks the way you want it to look. Okay. All right, so I'm just doing that on the ones that are open, not not the ones that are partially open, not doing that on those. Next thing I'm going to do is take my number six, and on this one I'm going to do my thicket, my sage green, and I think I forgot to say that, but I have Italian sage. I forgot to mention that one. On the Italian sage side, I'm putting in some of the uh, moon yellow. On the thicket side, I'm putting in brown. Reason being is I want that to, I like more of the olivey color, and I think if I do that, it gives them, it just gives a little bit more interest. You know, the more colors you put into it, I think it just makes it look prettier, personally. But it's up to you, you know, however you want to do it. So we can go, I'm just pulling these stems down in here. And I will show you the Italian sage, I forgot all about that. Alright, so then on this one up here, I'm going to pull it down like that. And on these I'm going to act like I have just a single stem. It's going to come down here. You don't have to put a stem in. If you want to just paint the bottle with leaves around the flowers, you can do that. Or you can just have the flowers. You don't even have to have leaves around them. But I'm going to then pull it in like that. Let me make it look like this one just came down into the flower below. Um, this one can flip over this way and come in. If you want more yellow in this, you know, you can keep just working it just like you do the centers until you get it the way you want it to be. I mean, that's up to you. Okay. And then on these little ones that are just hanging over here, I'm going to pull them in and make it look like they're coming down. I can even put them together like that and let them cut like they're coming down into this one. And then pulling, see how I did that? Just pull it down, going through the, the leaf or the petal of the flower, I should say. And then it just comes through. They're all kind of hooked together. Alright, so I kind of like that so far. Then on these up here, you, know, you can do an, actually do maybe another stem or whatnot. But right now I'm just going to do just some simple, easy, I'll make sure I get that right in there. Simple, easy leaves. And just kind of bring them up. And just kind of put a little stem in them. Nothing fancy. Little stem. And then I can do another one on here. Just make it kind of like it's just straight up and like that. They don't all have to be the same and you can vary the colors of your of your leaves. So that they're not the same. And then I'm going to do the same kind of leaves for the partials. 
so that they're not anything big. Now on these, when you're hooking them, the little partials here, excuse me, you can actually you know, pull it in so it attaches better to the stem and you're not just looking like you have a, a stem coming out of it. I pulled a little bit of that paint from the flower into it. So I'll just go over it. If you don't mind that color in your green, then that's fine too. And I really don't, really don't mind it. Just pull it in. You can pull a little bit like that if you want. And then come back over here. I just, I'm so afraid I'm going to touch touch the paint on the paper. I have that fear because I'm so good at doing that. Alright, so on these I'm going to do the same thing. Wet on wet so you will be pulling some of that flower petal color into your green. Just know that that that's kind of goes with the, the territory when you're doing wet on wet. If you don't like that, you know, try to dry it a little bit before you paint. And then do the same thing over here. Put it, attach it to the stem. Like that. Alright. Okay, like that. Just very easy. Very simple. Now, the leaves that I was using, or I'm using on these flowers, and again, I'm trying very, <laughs> trying very uh, carefully to do these. They're basically just a leaf that I'm going to pull out, give a little tip to them, and then pull them back down. Now, you can do the lighter color on the outside of them if you want. Or you can do like what I'm doing here and just have the dark. Or you can vary them from one leaf to another. They don't all have to have the same color going in the same direction. Meaning that I could do like my next one I can do, it's lighter with a darker center. Again, it's lighter with a darker center. Well, you know, I want to make them a little thicker. I can come in here with more paint and just work it a little bit if I want. Or I can just leave it without doing that. Either way is fine. Again, you just want to focus on good coverage. And of course a pretty design. That helps. But you can do that, you know, go through here and continue to put just some, I don't know if you'd consider those flat leaves, but they're not, they're not wavy leaves by any means. I can come in here and do that around this one, pull it up, and I did do the darker green and the brown on the outside. like that. And then like I said, any of this you can just keep it simple. Just go with the basic strokes and leave it call a day or you can work the color more. It's up to you. And just keep working with it. Alright, so for that I'm going to go ahead and stop. I hope you like this design. I think it's very pretty on this green glass bottle. Again, it's a whiskey bottle. You don't always have to do wine bottles. If you, know, you drink something else, go for it. Anyways, thanks so much for stopping by. Please make sure you give me a big thumbs up if you like this video. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and notification bell. Before you leave, hit the share button that you'll find underneath the video. 
once you hit that button, it'll give you the option of what social medias you want to share it on. I would appreciate it. And until the next time, you stay safe and healthy, and you have a good one.